my name is Miss Robinson. Welcome back to our channel. I am here with another math video for you guys. Today we are looking at lesson 5.5 and lesson 5.5 just kind of extends on what we learned in lesson 5.4. We are going to be focusing on multiplying multiples of 10 by a one digit number and we are going to be talking about a couple of different strategies. In class with this lesson we're going to talk about using base 10 blocks to help us multiply those multiples of 10 by a one digit number but for the purposes of this video we are only going to focus on looking at how to use a quick picture to solve and then going on to talk about a little bit more about how to use place value. So I'm going to set up my whiteboard and give you some examples with those two types of strategies and then we will close out the video with some closing thoughts. So let's take a look at our first example. We are going to be multiplying four times 30. So I need four groups of 30. Before I start drawing out my picture, I need to remind myself of a couple of things. This symbol represents tens. This symbol represents ones. And this symbol, symbol is going to represent 100. So I need to be aware of that. I also need to remind myself of what I learned in previous chapters about regrouping. Anytime I have more than 10 tens, I'm gonna to have to regroup that into 100. If I have more than 10 ones, that would have to be regrouped into 110. I cannot have more than 10 pieces of any kind without regrouping because that is the rules when it comes to regrouping. So now that I've reminded myself of that, I'm gonna go ahead and start by drawing out my four groups of 30. So here's group one, one, two, three, 10, 20, 30. Group two, 10, 20, 30. Group three, 10, 20, 30. And group four, 10, 20, 30. So I've done that. I have four groups with 30. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna check to see, do I have more than 10 tens? And if so, can I regroup? How many times will I regroup? Well, I know I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 tens. So I definitely have enough to regroup at least once. So I'm gonna box these three in, cross that out because they're gonna be regrouped. Box these three in, cross those out because they're gonna be regrouped. So right now that's six. Box these three in because those are gonna be regrouped. That's nine tens. And I need to steal one 10 here, cross that out because that is going to be regrouped. So now I'm gonna take those 10 tens that I'm going to regroup and I'm going to represent that as 100 by, by drawing that square. Now I have two tens left, which is not enough for me to regroup into another 100. So I'm just gonna move those over here. That is a visual representation of what my product is for four times 30. So I need to translate that visual representation into an actual numeric product. So I know that that square represents 100 and the two tens next to it represents two tens and that's going to be 20. So I know that the product of four times 30 using my quick picture is 120. So since this is a new concept for a lot of us, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a second example. All right, here's our second example. We are going to multiply seven times 40 so I need seven groups of 40. So let me get that started. 10, 20, 30, 40. That's group one. 10, 20, 30, 40. Group two. 10, 20, 30, 40. Group three. 10, 20, 30, 40. Group four. 10, 20, 30, 40. Group five. 10, 20, 30, 40. Group six. And 10, 20, 30, 40. Group seven. Now I need to make sure that I remember I cannot have more than 10 tens without regrouping. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. First, I'm gonna shut the door because Genesis is barking. Okay, I'm back. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start regrouping. So I'm gonna cross out this four because those are gonna be regrouped. So that's four. Another group of four is gonna make eight. And then I'm gonna cross out these two because that represents 10 tens and I'm gonna draw that as a 100. I'm gonna check again, can I re regroup again? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yep, let me cross these out. That's gonna be regrouped. Those are gonna be regrouped. 
those are gonna be regrouped. Now I have another hundred. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tens left, not enough for me to regroup, so I'm just gonna bring those over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I'm gonna represent that as an answer. So I know I have two hundreds. So I'm gonna put two in the hundreds place. And I have eight tens left, which I know is 80. So that tells me using my quick picture that the product of seven times 40 is going to be 280. Now I'm gonna give you one more example using place value. Okay, here's our final example. We are going to use place value for this one. So we are gonna multiply nine times 50, nine groups of 50. We're not drawing a quick picture. We're focusing on place value. And since we've already talked about this in a previous video, I'm gonna go through this one pretty quickly. So we are going to use a little cheat trick and remind ourselves, well, I can pull out my basic fact. So I'm gonna do nine times five. I'm going to just multiply nine times five. I know that that is 45 because I am mastering my multiplication facts because I'm a third grader and that's what third graders need to do. So I know nine times five is 45 and I know that that represents 45 tens. And I know that 45 tens is the same thing as me saying 450. So I know the product of nine times 50 is 450. Let's do one more of those. Let's say this time we're going to do, um, I don't know, six times 70. How about that? I'm gonna go ahead and use my cheat trick more explicitly this time. I'm gonna look at my basic fact, six times seven, which I know is 42. And then I'm gonna say, are there any lonely zeros left over that I haven't brought down yes? and yet? And there is, there's one. So I'm gonna bring that lonely zero down and I know that my product then, that six times 70 is going to give me a product of 420. So those are our examples for this lesson. Let me clean this board up, turn the camera around and give you my closing thoughts for this lesson. Alrighty, so those are your examples on how to multiply a one digit number by multiples of 10. Again, in this video, we just focus on using the quick picture and the place value strategies. Eventually, you'll get to the point where depending on the type of multiplication problem you are dealing with, you will realize that some strategies are more efficient than others, and you will be the one to decide what to use and when to use it. Just making sure that you're using each strategy correctly so that you can ensure that your product is correct at the very end. So that is all that I have for this particular video today. I hope it was helpful to you and if it was please do give this video a thumbs up so that more people can see it out there in YouTube land and until then I will see you guys in the next video. The next time I see you we will be in chapter six so I will see you guys then. Bye everybody.